you were with us at the start of the show, I, I was telling Delia that the only time I add sugar to anything that I drink or eat is when I have my tea. Yes. That's the only time. But how will you control your sugar intake for this Christmas season? Because like this Christmas, everything's sweet. Everything's sweet. <laughs> so join us to share some helpful tips. Is clinical nutritionist, uh, Dr. Kimberly uh, Somerville. Dr. Kim, welcome. How are you? Hi, thanks. I'm good. Thank you. Um, great to have you with us. So it's Christmas, Dr. Kim. Everything not full of sugar? Don't. <laughs> eh? Usually, yes. <laughs> so when you, say, when you say how you control your intake, I don't know if that's our mm -hmm. question, but what does what, what, what mm -hmm. that mean? When you say, you can't, I, I've said that before, the only time I add sugar to anything is when I have a cup of tea. But mm -hmm. then there are yeah. a lot of things that we consume that naturally have a whole heap of sugar in it. No? True, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially at this time. So how we control, so, how we control that? Yeah, okay. So especially with you now, you're saying that, you know, you add sugar to your tea. What I would say to persons who do that as well is try adding half the amount of sugar that you usually do. So okay. it doesn't seem like a big step, but at least that's something that you can control. So instead of, you know, one teaspoon or one tablespoon, add half teaspoon or half tablespoon. So that's a step. And then with other things in terms of controlling your sugar, a lot of the times we eat sugar or sweet things because we're not getting the nutrients we need in other things. So especially for some persons who skip breakfast, you might find that if you skip breakfast, you tend to crave more sugar throughout the day. So I would say first, eat a good breakfast with protein, healthy fats. That can be something easy like mackerel or Put some pear with it and a little bit of crackers or one slice of toast just to know that you have the nutrients so your sugar cravings would reduce throughout the day yeah uh, it's interesting what never said because i think when people think about sugar they often mm -hmm. first jump for the sweet things mm -hmm. but but mm -hmm. but but sugar is also about how much of other things that we consume <laughs> during the yes. holidays so yes um I don't know if you have any idea or any data about how much we consume, mm -hmm. but um, what are some of the temptations? But well, I don't know, Doc, because Christmas cake I have to eat, sorry, I have to drink. <laughs> yes. It's like I'm asking you a question and I, and I already know mm -hmm. the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we eat a lot of sugar, of course. Um, yeah. There's no real data really on how much sugar we eat. But of course, especially like you said, you know, the sorrel, the cake, we're going to be getting that not just at one event, but you know, you're going to see different family members, you're going to see friends, you're going to have work events. So all of these little times that you're eating your cake and your sorrel, and of course, it's not just in the sweet things, but you know, the rice, the dumpling, the pastas, all of these things break down into sugar mm -hmm. in our bodies anyways. So the temptation will be there, um, but I would say it's not really to avoid but to just reduce considerably and change other things in your diet to help you manage that. Uh, um, we have a source here, Intermountain Healthcare. Uh, you dealt mm -hmm. with the first one because you kind of say, when you said tone down the sugar, you can, that's almost like setting a goal. But doc, mm -hmm. you said something a while ago that instead of using one tablespoon or one teaspoon, cut it in half. It may, te it may tell you how much sugar in a list. <laughs> you send so, for me. <laughs> because, uh, even, how, much, how much you're using, it doesn't matter. Just try to cut it in yeah, half tomorrow. I, I went to a function yesterday, so I said, can I get minty? And they really say sugar. And I said, three. Mm -hmm. Sharia, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, all right, so let's look at some of these now. So you kind of said mm -hmm. set a goal. You kind of answered mm -hmm. that already. Allow okay. indulgences, mm -hmm. which means what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Which really means don't stress too much about it. So if it is there, don't say, oh gosh, I'm going to this event. I can't have any sugar. I can't have any cake. Just allow yourself to probably eat a proper meal, which means protein, uh, healthy fats, you know, a little bit of rice or so. And then you say, all right, I'm going to have a smaller slice of cake than I usually do. If I'm going to have sorrel, let me try and just have a half a glass and give a little bit more water, that type of thing. Don't restrict yourself because anytime you we restrict, especially in this type of season, we're just going to have a little piece next time and then go overboard, which we don't really want to do. Yeah. I like number two, focus on whole body health. Yeah. Not just the mm -hmm. sugar alone. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So focusing on whole body health is just that we think that we have to cut out one specific type of food when all foods have its place. 
right? So if it is that, you know, we're trying to lose weight or control our sugar, just take that in regards and know that whole body health is, do I have more energy? Am I having less cravings? Um, am I able to concentrate more? Because all of these are signs that your health is improving and not just if you're having sugar cravings. Wow. All right, well, Doc, here, here the problem because you know, so bright, I don't really know all of these things. And no, but, but, uh, but I'm serious because even what Delia said, because you guys usually speak with words like starch and protein, and, and yeah. we don't know when name starts. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I'm being very serious because some of us, when you sure. say, you know, when you say, even it off when you need your starch and you need, there's, there's another yeah. word, there's another word, not starch. Carbohydrates. 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 And, oh, we're going to know these things. I mean, how, mm -hmm. in a very serious way, how the, the yeah. average Joe like me going to know these things? Yeah, it's difficult. I think we would need more public education on that. Um, because if I said protein, you may not know. That's true. Um, so protein would include things like chicken, fish, uh, different fish like mackerel, tuna, sardine, even beans, like our red peas that we put in, um, yes, rice and yes, peas, yes, yes, um, black beans, you. those are the things, lentils, those have protein. So it's really about educating um, our public. So at least we can give them a list, probably put it in health centers, pharmacies, those type of things that we can at least let them know that these are what you should be looking for in your diet. Done.